it is indeed uh, a great honor to attend this event commemorating uh, the 75th anniversary of the founding of People's Republic of China. I had made a commitment before I left for small Prime Minister couldn't go. It was the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting right in the middle of the Pacific as uh, my brother Senator Mushar Hussain said it took me 32 hours, 24 hours of you know, flying hours and uh, 8 hours of uh, waiting in Tomlet. You have to think twice. But uh, since I had made commitment, I was required to actually divert myself from the last stop in the way to Riyadh this morning. So uh, there is a financial investment initiatives conference. Uh, but since I had made a commitment, so I, uh, I got uh, leave from Honorable Prime Minister on telephone. Who has uh, left after my arrival uh, for Riyadh. He will be representing Pakistan. So uh, it's uh, indeed a, a great day, I would say, and a great event which has been uh, planned. Uh, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the Chinese government, the Chinese people, the institute, its management, all the participants here. It's a wonderful day, it's a solid day uh, from Pakistan and Chinese friendship point of view. The establishment of the People's uh, Republic of China marked a transformative moment in the world history, ushering in an era of progress and strength for a great nation. Under the leadership of uh, Chairman Mao and his revolutionary comrades, the Chinese people waged an unparalleled struggle for freedom, dignity, and self-respect. Kindly spare some moments some time and reflect. We don't have uh, much difference in our age of the two countries. And Honorable Senator Mushaj Saab mentioned, you know, how in which countries China has tried to follow in the beginning, which included Pakistan model as well. There's a separate discussion sometime. What, what, what goes wrong in this country? I think we will certainly have another discussion. But the reference to today's event, I would say this momental journey inspired uh, by Chinese countless nations across the world who actually wish to now follow China. Over the past 75 years, new China has created a remarkable force reaching unprecedented milestones in every sphere of life and contributing to a better world. Again, one well, honorable speaker has uh, explained the different phases, which as a phase he went first like 50 years ago when he was in Nafsi College. Yes. So, you know, those of you who have been to China in different phases and particularly in the last uh, few years, 